I admit before I received the True Botanicals Rebula Active Serum, I had never heard about Rebula as a skincare ingredient or fruit. Apparently it grows on a tree native to southern and southeast Asia and has been used internally in Ayurvedic medicine for its great antioxidant capacities. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Dr. Anne, a physician passionate about skincare and well aging. True Botanicals claims to be one of the first brands using it in skincare and calls it a cascading antioxidant. It is supposed to be a hydrating anti aging serum that targets five signs of aging fine lines and wrinkles, uneven skin tone, roughness, skin laxity, and dull skin, all with the help of Shebula. The serum inside the packaging looks greenish brown in color. Sorry for the graphic description, but it has the color of bile. The scent is earthy with a hint of floral and a little sharpness, and certainly not my favorite. Rebola Active Serum is supposed to be used morning and night according to the website, and I found half a dropper to be enough for my face and neck. While it initially goes on very smoothly, it develops tackiness after a few seconds that doesn't go away until you layer something on top. While it never led to pilling, I didn't like it very much and thus stuck with using it at night when I knew I would layer stuff on top anyway. Despite the claims, I didn't find it to be very hydrating, so I needed to layer it either with a hydrating serum or rich moisturizer to make it work for my skin. The first antioxidant on the ingredient list is actually green tea extract. Rebula comes somewhere in the middle. Green tea is something I really like in my products, but the thing with extracts obviously is that you never really know how much of the actually active things you end up getting. After green tea extract, you will find aloe vera for soothing, glycerin and sodium hyaluronate for hydration, and a few other plant extracts, in one case called flower distillate, which is unusual for potential antioxidant benefits. You will find alcohol way down the ingredient list, which is to be expected as most extracts are made by alcoholic extraction. To be honest, I wasn't really a fan of the serum in terms of texture and effect on my skin, and for a $90 a bottle, I would at least expect that. If the mixture of antioxidants is superior to other antioxidant serums isn't something you can tell from using it, but I will certainly not repurchase. In terms of skin types, it could potentially work for all skin types when paired with other products, with the obvious exception of those that are allergic to one or more of the plant extracts. If there is anything you'd like to add, please do so in the comments below. I will link to more videos you might find interesting on the screen and add links to my Instagram blog and Patreon account in the description box. See you soon. Bye.